translation. So the blue dots are translations. <clears throat> the green dot, what's happening? Rotation. You guys get it? Rotation. Translation. Okay, so what we can do is you can put this on a Cartesian plane, right? And you can put each of the points that make up the shape you have an X and a Y. Does that make sense? So then you put all, say this triangle, you put all the X's and Y's into a matrix, and you can multiply that matrix by a translation matrix. And it'll give you the new point. When it translates, say you move across A and up B, the original point is X, Y, so you could write it as a matrix like this, or you could write it as a matrix like that. Does that make sense? And then you add what we call the translation matrix. So it's often given as a T, and we have the new point, which will be x plus a x ah oh, sorry y plus b so this is p this is t and this is the new p point does that make sense so we've slid that point or we've translated that point to a new place So like the example in the textbook, consider a marching band. All the people in the band are at points and they're all going to march maybe across and up one. So that's like their new point in the band. So if you want to do it for shapes, you have to do it for every single point. Yeah, so you could have, um, like, this is the first point in the shape. This is the second point. And this is, I don't know, another point in the shape. And you could add, so you want to all translate them the same place, so the shape stays the same shape. So you just move it maybe across three and up one. So remember to add matrices, they have to have the same rows and the same <coughs> columns. So this is like the translation and you just have the same translation. But sometimes the question might say, or a task, you know, half the marching band translates that way, and the other half, or half of the shape goes this way. So then you'd have different translation columns. Is it kind of making sense? So this is P, or I don't know, it could be S for shape, translation, and then you... So let's put the shape into D, E, F. So point D is negative 4 in the X and 0 0.5 in the Y. Yeah. 
D dash, E dash, and F dash. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay, so we do another example. So we want to find the new equation. Does that make sense? So let's convert it into matrices. What does this equal? So x dash equals x plus 3, y dash equals y plus 2. Now how do we solve for the new equation? You sub these into that equation. Does that make sense? So instead of y, what are we going to have? y dash take 2. Instead of x, what are we having? And we have a plus 2 at the end. I've substituted that where y is. So then y dash equal s3 plus 2 plus 2. There we go.